the wisdom of a drunken man. My teacher name was Jim and he was a drunken man. But he was the best teacher I had ever had. One late afternoon, I was coming from football with the boys and we saw a man in the gutter and he turned up to be my teacher. He started talking to me about life. He said, you are a bright boy and your family must be proud of you. But let me tell you something about life. In life, everything starts with an attitude of gratitude. The thing that were mattered to me in the past don't seem to matter anymore. It seems that I am defined by my status of a drunken man. And I know that. I was a boy like you, you know, Colbert. At your age, do you know all what I lived for? My mom's love. My dad's approval. It and Christmas. And when I was a teenager, I lived for being accepted by friends. And when I became a teacher, I lived to be the best teacher ever, doing accolades from my colleague. And when I became a husband and a father, I lived to be the best ever father and a husband. Those things were good. They really matter to me at that time. But now, everyone call me the drunken man without understanding why. Is their fault? I guess no. Who's then? Is it fair? Well, I don't know. Mine alone, and I'm happy to put my hands up and take responsibility for it. What happened to me in the past is matter. And as who I became after that is matter too. This time, two years ago, I was a happy husband and a father living with my beloved wife and my beautiful daughter and my son. They were my everything. I loved them and my life was fulfilled. And then the war came along and took them all from me without me able to do anything. I was bitter. I am still bitter. And the only moment I am with them is when I am drunk. And I love it. Do you understand that, Colbasi? I am now called myself a broken man, not a drunken man. Drunk is my happy word. And beer is my best friend. Sober is my hand. And sorrow is my comfort. Nothing seems to mean anything. But the trouble is that I don't know what I really want or desire or what is really matter. Death has forsaken me even when I attempt to find. It is not always easy to want less. The power is in the value of taking full advantage of the less you have. And it is key to living a fulfilled life. I am not happy to be called a drunken man and to be mocked at. My life should have been different, joyful, content, and fulfilled with my wife, my daughter, and my son. Since the war took them away from me, it is like my life has stopped. 
is that I am waiting to be reunited with them. But God tell me it is not time yet. Don't be like me. Our time is limited to dwell on the past or wait to have everything before starting living. And that is madness. The less you desire, the less you have to take care of. The more you desire, the more money you need to earn. The less you desire, the more time you have for people. The more you desire, the more things you need to protect. The less you desire and contend with, the less worry you are about not having. Young or old, we spend our time trying to find meaning in our lives because without it, everything seems pointless. Without meaning, we become anxious, desperately attaching to a person or to a belief or to a behavior or even to a thing if that's what appears to give us meaning in our life. Never forget your root. It is your identity. Human desire is to gain something and surely thereafter to want more and to passionately protect what we get. Even the blessing that come our way unexpectedly. Do you know what is the most enduring and resilient species to ever exist in the universe? No? Plants. But still plants require very little to live on. Water, air, and soil. They get bruised by the corn, but still stay strong, probably saying, this too shall pass. They get flooded by the rain and they use this adversity to fix deep the root in the ground. They get burned by the sun and they use it as an opportunity to refresh the look of a new leaf. Their root are deep fixed and they believe on their power to stand firm no matter what. Adversity is our friend, not our enemy. Through it, we become stronger and wise. Be thankful for what you have. Get the basic essentials, and you will worry less about what you don't have. Being content with what you have is not about depriving yourself of comfort. It is not about having a poverty mindset. It is about removing distraction from your life. Having less wants can greatly make your life easy. Being wealthy, what do you think it is? A concept or a mindset? It could be a mindset, it could be a concept. But in truth, it's none of that. It is simply mean having everything you need. It is not about allowing what you own to own you. It is not about allowing your possession to blind you from the things that are most important in life. The idea that the more you have, the happier you will be is insanity to the purest form. Part of having more is wanting less. Being content with less is in itself an increase. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.